some Hello everyone, as the title says, today we are back at square one with AI and with the always asked question, what do we do about it? The topic is especially spicy since a few artists that are pretty well known have voiced some opinions that could be misinterpreted. Now, if you know who I mean, then you know, and if you don't, then sucks for you. I'm not making this video to address somebody or call someone out. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But what I am here for is to explain to you what AI actually is doing at the moment. By the way, if my microphone seems to be a little weird at the moment, I don't know what's happening. I can see there's something different in the recording program, but I can't make out what it is. So you're gonna have to live with it now. The thing with AI is that it is learning from us artists from the people that create art, and obviously from photo references and everything like that. It works through compiling all of these images that it gets fed through huge data bundles and processes all of this data down to a few images on command. That means basically everything that an AI puts out is some kind of recycled material. And as we all know, recycling is pretty good. However, if you recycle something, there's always waste and the recycled product is never as good as the original was. And by that, I mean everything that an AI puts out is somehow worse than whatever you put in. Some may say because the drawings they put out doesn't have any character, they don't have a consistent style or consistent characters. Others have a hard time drawing hands. What the thing is that makes it worse doesn't really matter. Everything we need to know is that it is worse. And to the trained eye, you can see that worseness. When I look at a picture that is AI generated, I don't know what it is, but the slightest thing that seems off and seems AI to me just stands out awfully fast. Therefore, I usually find out in a few minutes if I'm looking at an AI generated image or at something that actual humans have made, which is really important because being able to discern AI from actual real human work means that they differ enough for just a random human to be able to see the difference between them. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks like that. I'm very sure that you also can discern most, if not all, AI images from actual human images. And now that I have wasted two minutes of your time by not addressing what I actually wanted to address, let's get into the actual topic, the future of AI. If you have googled something at the moment, then you may have noticed that there's a lot of AI pictures around. Almost 50% of all pictures are AI generated, and they're not even declared AI generated, which is pretty bad for us and for the AI. Because what an AI does is basically farm huge piles of data from Google, from Bing, from basically every website there is, compile it down and basically eat it up. With that data, they train and become better in order to mimic what we humans do on a daily basis. Now, since this AI hype has been going on for almost a year, if not for longer, basically the entire internet is flooded with AI images and not even good ones. These AI generated images that are actually really bad and absolutely don't make any sense at all, inevitably find their way back into a data pack that an AI will eat up again. And what happens if an AI uses AI images to train itself? Well, it's pretty easy. The AI uses images from the internet. And if these images are not generated by AI, but by humans, and are all of a certain quality, then the AI continually grows and gets better and better. But that growth only holds out until the AI starts to feed off its own images. The growth of the AI, or basically the skill of the AI, will peak and plateau, which is because it is getting fed with real imagery and AI imagery alike. Basically meaning it gets some stuff of value and other stuff with no value. And let's say it needs to learn how a hand is drawn in a certain kind of perspective, takes 10 images from an actual artist, and 100 images that have been AI generated, then the new hand it will create probably will look pretty bad, even though the model is already a next generation from a model that already had relatively good hands. The thing about it is an AI basically needs guidance. 
it needs a lot of reference imagery to, in quotation marks, create its own image from it. And that own image is always a recycled piece from many other pieces, which means it's always not as good as any of the original. And if any of the original is already an AI generated image that is not as good as the real originals that it referenced, the second time around, the image will come out even worse. And since these AI models and companies are pretty greedy and are always just farming every kinds of images from the internet they can, legally and illegally, they will eventually run into the problem that most images that they farm are AI generated and thus only worsen the output of the new AI. If you look at AI generated images, they always look kind of the same. It's a miracle that even the characters in these are dressed differently, because basically the scenario is always the exact same. And as time goes on, this won't change, because if an AI only can feed off of itself, then it will get stuck in a loop where it can only create the exact same images which would mean even more repetitive than as it is today. Once that time starts to come, the hype about AI and all these AI artists will die down pretty quickly. Because who wants an artist that can only draw the exact same thing over and over and over? That will be the time where AI will make a little change and probably will be used as a tool by artists. Something like Blender for 3D models, a program or a website that can quickly give you a cool iteration on values or some cool color concepts. The gist of it is that AI at the moment is more or less at its peak. I don't see any way how AI could even trump whatever it is doing right now. Of course, it will start to make videos and animations and whatever, but these videos and animations will also always be the same. They will look the same and they will feel just kinda off. And eventually these video AIs or animation AIs will run into the same problem that the imagery AIs will. The best example for that are chatbot AIs that have been on Twitter for years now. You remember the Microsoft AI that couldn't be online for more than 24 hours because people just gaslit it into being some kind of Nazi freak? The thing we can learn from that is if the internet gets a new toy, it will eventually break it be it short term or long term. That is basically everything that I wanted to say to you. Now keep in mind, I don't possess future sight, at least not yet. And I am just as curious to what AI and all that stuff will be able to do in maybe 10 years or so. But until it takes all of our jobs or eventually doesn't, let's make the best out of it. With that said, I wish you all happy drawing and goodbye.